Meteorological autumn starts this Monday, but there's a real autumnal feel to things at the moment, and that will continue as we go through this 10-day trend period. Starting off with a bit of an overview, and the chart behind me here is the probabilistic pressure trend. If you've not seen this before, well, blues indicate lower pressure more likely, reds indicating higher pressure more likely, and we're looking further into the future as we go from left to right and older model runs as we go from top to bottom. And what they're showing then, really, there's pretty high confidence in this low pressure, unsettled story through much of the next 10 days. Yes, there are some signs of something a bit close towards higher pressure, maybe a little bit more settled as we look further ahead. But at that kind of lead time, we need to take things with a little bit of a pinch of salt. The other chart that I wanted to show you, which is quite similar, but this time looking at our zonal trend, so whether our air is coming in from the west or from the east, and the blues indicating that we're going to really be sticking with that westerly flow that we've developed recently, and that means that we're going to continue to see unsettled weather coming in from the Atlantic, and that's why things are going to stay pretty changeable. One more chart that I wanted to show you as an overview before we get into the detail is our confidence index. And this looks at the, the forecast confidence comparing it to average. Now, as you would expect, confidence does generally decrease as we look further ahead. But uh, actually, confidence around this coming weekend, particularly Saturday, is actually a little bit lower than average for that sort of lead time. And then confidence actually picks up a little bit with uh, higher than average confidence for the fact that the beginning of next week and into the middle of next week, looks like low pressure is going to be the main story through much of the period. And then confidence, yeah, it drops and it's going to be around average as we go further ahead. But now, let's go through the detail then, starting off with the bigger picture currently. And we do have low pressure towards the northwest of the UK as we go through the rest of Wednesday. Now, this is technically the remnants of what was Hurricane Erin, but it's not bringing us anything as unsettled as a hurricane, not at all. It is bringing a fairly changeable, unsettled weather, though. Many of us have had some fairly hefty showers around through the last 24, 48 hours or so. More showers to come. As we go into Thursday, they're going to become increasingly widespread, starting off mainly in the west, but then all places seeing some fairly hefty showers. And some of them could be thundery. They could be a bit blustery, particularly across western parts. Then the chance of some more persistent rain, perhaps across parts of Northern Ireland and maybe western Scotland. And then as we go overnight, also the chance of some more persistent rain fringing along some southern coastal parts. And so it could be a bit of a cloudy start in the southeast on Friday. Otherwise, though, it is going to be quite a, a showery day yet again, a mixture of sunny spells and further heavy blustery showers. Because of the position of the winds and where our showers are coming from, it's going to be across western parts, northwestern areas in particular, where we're going to get those heaviest showers. And that's the, where we have the greatest chance of some impacts from some high rain totals perhaps building up also the greatest chance of some thunder and like I said there will be these blustery winds around as well. But then as we go into the weekend and in, t in order to understand what's likely to happen with Saturday into Sunday let's look the other side of the Atlantic and what you can see there are a couple of low pressure centers technically this is tropical storm Fernand and how these low pressure centers interact with the jet stream is really important. If I just run it through, and it looks like these uh, low pressure centers are going to get closer towards the jet stream as they push their way across the Atlantic. And then a, a sort of new feature is going to develop with these low pressures kind of joining it and all amalgamating together. And then that low pressure center is going to run across the jet stream, get a bit more oomph, get a bit more emphasis behind it, and then make its way towards us as a relatively deep area of low pressure. And it's going to bring some unseasonable weather, still technically meteorological summer on the 30th of August. And so, yeah, we are in for a, a bit more of an unsettled spell as we go through Saturday into Sunday. So what's likely to happen then? A spell of pretty heavy rain is going to push its way through. And most of us are going to see some heavy rain on Saturday. The further east, the longer it will take to reach you. In fact, across parts of Shetland in particular, it's not going to be until overnight into Sunday when the rain moves through. But most of us will have a spell of wet weather and there will be some pretty blustery weather associated with this deep area of low pressure. Like I say, a bit unseasonably deep for the time of year. Probably the strongest winds down towards the southwest, maybe feeding up through the Bristol Channel. At the moment, it doesn't look like it's going to be too hazardous. We're talking coastal gales. That's not unheard of, even for the time of year, but uh, probably not too impactful for most places. Obviously, 
Many of us may still be camping or outdoor structures, temporary structures still set up. So that could cause a few issues for a couple of people. But it's worth bearing in mind that some previous model runs had this feature being a bit deeper and actually had a, a separate low a little bit further south. And if that had come off, then it would have been a bit stronger in terms of the winds that it brings towards the UK. But I think at the moment, it just looks like it's going to be a particularly blustery, windy day, but nothing that will cause too many issues. Then that rain pushes its way northeastwards as we go overnight into Sunday. The low itself pushes away towards the north. And so while Sunday is still going to be a bit blustery, we are going to see more showers coming in from the west. It doesn't look like it will be quite as wet, quite as unsettled as it will have been on Saturday. So Sunday looking like the drier day of the weekend for many, especially across central eastern parts where actually we could avoid most of the showers. Now, one thing that I uh, should highlight, there have been some uh, differences in model runs over the position of that low pressure that's coming through on Saturday. Here I have our Dalmatian plot from ECMWF showing different dots where they, they are. Now, it's, uh, it's quite small. So let's zoom in a little bit. And here you can see that actually, whilst there is some spread of the position of this low pressure as we go through Saturday and into Sunday, it's Relative, there's relatively good agreement that it's now going to move through somewhere around the, the northern half of the UK. Previous model runs, like I say, had it a bit further south and that then brought more unsettled weather. But now models are coming a bit more in line. So the exact detail as to what's going to happen on, on Saturday is still a little bit to play for in terms of the exact timing of the system coming through, exactly where we see the heaviest rain, the strongest winds. But a uh, better idea that I think it's going to be an unsettled day for sure, but perhaps not quite as unsettled as it looked like it could have been a couple of days ago, which is why we have that lower than average confidence in the forecast for this coming weekend, because previous model runs painted a slightly more pessimistic story if it's uh, unsettled weather that you're not hoping for. But then looking at our rainfall totals for the next five days, and I wanted to highlight this because I mentioned at the start we have this mobile westerly pattern. And what that means is our, our weather's all coming in from the west, and that means western areas will get the wettest weather. And if we run through the next few five days and our rainfall totals through that whole period, well, some places towards the west, higher ground, could see quite a bit in excess of 100 millimetres, maybe enough to cause some issues if you get any intense downpours in those showers. Maybe Friday could see some heavy showers. Maybe Saturday is that more persistent band of rain pushes through. There could be some localised flooding. But these rainfall totals aren't especially high, especially when you factor in just how dry it has been through spring and through much of summer as well. But the other thing to bear in mind is look at these eastern areas. They're the, those very light blues, so not seeing a huge amount, less than 10 millimetres of rain in the next five days. So although there's a general unsettled, perhaps even autumnal feel to things as we go through the rest of this week and into the weekend, really some eastern parts not seeing that much rain. So that's not going to help mitigate the, uh, the very dry weather that we've been having recently. However, Let's look further ahead and what's going to happen next week. Well, that same low pressure system that pushes in over the weekend, that's likely to clear away towards the north. And then we kind of end up in a fairly standard polar maritime air mass showers coming in from the northwest. So again, western, northwestern parts bearing the brunt of the, the worst of the rain or the heaviest rain. Worst is perhaps the wrong way to put it at the moment. Meanwhile, towards the east, southeast, all the time, a greater chance of staying dry. So a showery day for many of us on Monday. And then a bit of a ridge of high pressure perhaps. And so things may be a bit quieter for a time as we go into Tuesday, a bit of a lull before more unsettled weather's coming. Because then if we look out towards the Atlantic, various low pressure systems, various frontal systems that are set to make their way. And now at this sort of lead time, it's, it's tricky to be too clever with the detail about what these are going to do. But it does look like they're going to pile in from the west and we're going to have some further spells of unsettled weather coming through. So yes, maybe Tuesday might be a slightly quieter day, but on the whole, next week does look fairly changeable. We can see that if we look at our ECMWF anomaly chart. So this chart is showing our pressure anomaly and the greeny blues indicating that lower than average pressure for the week as a whole is most likely. And this is for the week starting the 1st of September with the low pressure most likely to be centred somewhere towards the north of the UK. And that goes in line with this unsettled theme that we're expecting as we go into the start of meteorological autumn. What that means for our rainfall, well, if we look at our rainfall anomaly from ECMWF and 
it suggests that it is going to be wetter than average. A very different story to what we've been used to through this summer. Across western areas, it looks significantly wetter than average. Even in the east, it does look a bit wetter than average, but not quite as much. And that also goes in line with this idea of this mobile westerly with the unsettled weather piling in from the Atlantic. Temperature-wise, well, they look around average for most places. And so at this time of year, yes, it's going to feel cooler when we get that wind and rain pushing through. But uh, if you get any dry, sunnier periods, start of September, it should still feel pleasantly warm at times. So next week as a whole, it's going to stay pretty changeable, even quite unsettled at times. So there will be spells of rain, some showers or longer spells of rain, and also some blustery, windy weather at times, albeit nothing that really Really stands out as being especially windy at this stage. The heaviest rains always likely to be across western parts, less rain making it towards eastern areas where lots of areas are in need of some decent rain. But nonetheless, I do think there will be some rain making its way through. And then, yes, as a whole, temperatures are going to be around average. So warm enough if you get any of those drier, settled spells in between the more changeable weather that is coming through. I hope you found that useful as a little uh, overview of what we're going to expect through the next 10 days. If you want to know more information about it, well, why don't you catch up with the Weather Studio Live, which will be available at 12.15 on YouTube with Honor and me. Bye-bye.